Buyers are pausing due to higher interest rates, but here's what they don't know. So Tara, what is that brilliant saying that you have been just talking about? <laughs> We're saying marry the house and date the rate because the reality is rates go up and down, right? And we know that rates are going to come back down, that the higher interest rates we've experienced today are because of inflation and they're temporary. We're really moving into a recession. And if you look historically at any period of time that we were in a recession, rates have come down to really get the economy moving again. And so it's a great opportunity for buyers to be able to have the seller help by temporarily buying that interest rate down to be able to baby step into that monthly payment. What exactly does that mean though? Buy it down. I know. I, a lot of people ask that. So let's say the interest rate today is in the sixes, which it is. So we'll use six and a quarter. So the seller can actually pay up front to reduce that interest rate in year one down by 2%, which would be the, bring the rate down to four and a quarter. And then in year two, it goes up to five and a quarter. And then you still have that 30 year fixed rate at six and a quarter from year three through 30. But what I love about it, Rob, is let's just say hypothetically rates drop in 18 months and it were at four and a half. Well, that money the seller paid to help with that interest rate buy down is the buyer's money. So if we end up refinancing that loan because rates have dropped, we didn't leave that money on the table. It's sitting in their escrow account and can be refunded to them or applied towards their loan balance. So it's a great way to be able to get into a home and to overcome this issue of affordability because of these higher rates. Yeah. So they call it a 2-1 buy down. Yeah. And that's just one of the things that uh, I can negotiate going into a, a deal as well making an offer on a house. We can ask the seller yeah. outright. Well, and Rob, this is just something that was not an option when there was very little inventory on the market. You know, at one point we had two weeks of inventory. Today we have three months of inventory. And so a seller is much more likely to contribute toward those, towards those types of programs, but also repair homes. We're seeing more negotiated repairs, which is nice for a first time home buyer to get into a home knowing that everything's been taken care of. That's right. So if you'd like any more information on the 2-1 buy down, please feel free to reach out to us. And thanks for watching.